Hey, my beautiful people, how we doing? How we doing? Today, 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 we have mashed potatoes. Some, um, Ouija rice, mac and cheese, and some, <gasps> look at them, look at them, look at them barbecue ribs. Yum. Well, first of all, I got tons of, of little messages going. Tammy, your last video did not have voice, baby girl. I'm sorry. It happens. It's okay. His nick happens. You know what I'm saying? It just happens. But, anyhow, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you. My ride and dies, I love you and appreciate you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having faith in me and following me and follow me on this journey and watching my craziness. I appreciate it. But anyhow, my beautiful people, let's do great to get it in. Good Heavenly Father, thank you for every blessing you give me and every blessing you're going to give me, Lord. And Lord, thank you for looking after my grandkids, my kids, my family, my friends, my beautiful people, my honeybees, and keeping them all healthy, strong, positive, good vibes, and uh, um, trinity, finity, blessed. And Lord, please put your hands on the people that are starving and without shelter, and shelter them and feed them, Lord. Lord, please put your hands on the sick and heal them. Lord, thank you for every sacrifice you do for us and every sacrifice you're going to do for us. And thank you for giving your son for our sins. And Jesus, thank you for taking our sins. And thank you for every sacrifice you do for us. And Lord, please forgive me for any sins I have committed or I'm going to commit. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, please bless my food. Uh-huh. See ya, see ya, see ya. Okay. Now let's get a grub on. Y'all, this is cheap mac and cheese. Mm-hmm, this is cheap. This is cheap day, y'all. We're scribbling for food right now. And that video of Chick-fil-A was a little while ago. I just had it stuffed in the back of the box. And I said, well, I need a knife. Mm -hmm. I went to the food bank yesterday. That's where the ribs come from. And this cheap mac and cheese. This, and this ain't no craft. This is that off brand. Mm -hmm. Y'all, this is greasy rice. Mm hmm. Agua with some, um, no, it ain't my green tea, y'all. It's Jelly Belly Raspberry. Um, it's something like that. And it's blue, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm y'all. Mm-hmm. Sorry, y'all. I'm putting that, uh, barbecue sauce on my taters. On my taters. Okay, putting it on my taters. 
So yeah, just follow off the bone. You can even eat the bone. It's so My son cooked it overnight on very low heat in the oven. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Y'all, hold me. Hey, good boy. I knew what that's why he went for that moment. I knew exactly what he was waiting for. The bone. See, I'm watching my stuff right now to make sure I got voice. I'm going to have to keep my eye on that. For some reason, it keeps on cutting off. And I don't know why. Because I have it on my automatic cut on. But it's not. I'm not. So all this we got from the food bank. I told y'all. Things are tied around him. All them videos I've been putting up. In videos I saved for something like this. I know what it's like to start. I always got peanut butter. If I don't have nothing else. Things are just cost so much. Now I'll put that rib inside my mashed potatoes. I asked my son why he cooked two starches for. He said that's what we have. <laughs> I said I understand. I understand. Got to eat what you got. See, in situations like this, you should always have a backup video. You know what I'm saying? Give my boy this set of bone. Meaning he's got one, but she ain't. She ain't. I don't know. Hmm. 
Hmm. You have a monster. Gotta eat what you got, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, on the video, let me tell you some stuff I was talking about. I was talking about when I was younger, I was a wild child. Very wild child. Now, I want no loosey goosey for my boys now, but. I was a wild child. I would do a lot of stupid crap. Drag racing. Flipping my truck. I flipped my truck seven times. Y'all. Yeah. Seven times. Got up. Walked out the car without a scratch. Good Lord had his hands on me because, y'all, I had a, um, a GMC truck. Well, that was SUV. I think it was a Blazer. SUV Blazer. Um, it was GMC. You know, GMC's got a blazer and Ford's got a blazer. Well, I flipped it seven times. And it went in the water. Y'all, they pulled that truck out. Told them to pull it to my house. Let it dry out for a few days. That day on the truck. Still cranked and still drove good, even after all that. Now that was a tough truck. I loved that truck. I finally blew the motor up in it. So hard to get a new one. Racing. Speaking tickets, jail, fighting. <clears throat> no, back in the day when I was younger, they didn't have cops sitting at the schoolhouse. You didn't go to jail when you got in a fight. You got in school suspension or out of school suspension. Back when I was younger, we didn't settle with guns. We shelled it right here. <clears throat> That's why I, I don't understand what you need a gun for. If you're a man, you can use these. If you're a woman, you can use these. A real man and a real woman wouldn't shoot somebody. They'd whoop their ass. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no gun. But, y'all get to death. I was just hell on wheels. Yep. I was. Mm. I got to the customers that I went to school with. Look at me now. Oh, Timmy, you're so calm now. I 
damn sure you pee me off. Like, oh yeah, we ain't gonna do that. They used to call me the bulldog. When I was in school. Now like, why they called me bulldog? Because when you pee me off, I would latch on like a dog on a bone and wouldn't let go. Mm hmm. I sure would. But yeah, my mama said I was a holy terror when I was younger. Then, at the age of 17, I thought I was in love. I got pregnant with my oldest Lisa. Got married to him. It lasted two years. And that was it. He was abusive. And uh my something I never done you know put my hands on my man because my daddy used to tell me you put your hands on the man you deserve what comes out and uh I didn't want to know what come out But now they, I tell man off, woman off, I tell you how I feel. I don't buy my tongue. But I ain't been a fight in years. Not knock on some wood. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna jinx it. Because. My body's old. It's tired. It don't want to fight no more. You know what I'm saying? When I told y'all the story about me and my me following my brother and his friends and they breaking into school and uh um color frying our classes. For our teacher, we've done special decoration to the classes we were in and to the library. Yeah, we got in a lot of trouble for that. Matter of fact, my brother got my brother punched a teacher in the face. After that, and they send him to a boy's home. <clears throat> Called Terra Hall Home for Boys is up toward uh, Charleston, I think. Yeah, but. Uh, Yeah, after he punched that teacher in the face, 
My brother's worse than me. It was like every other week he was calling from jail. I'm in jail, y'all gonna come get me. Uh-uh. But he was doing stupid stuff like drinking and driving and that's how he's stupid. He still ain't learned that one. You know what I'm saying? But you grow up, you learn. You know. I learn. Try and talk it out. You know what I'm saying? Throwing throwing shade and Fiat, fist, and drama, and it's not worth it. What is it called? You might feel better after whooping that butt, that person's butt, but y'all still ain't gonna get along. Y'all still ain't gonna like each other. I used to look at them and say, now you will learn how not to talk about somebody. You know what I'm saying? Don't be running your mouth about somebody. You know? Basically, why I took a talk about on that video about when I was younger, me getting in a lot of trouble and being a wild child. There was a lot of stuff. I had a lot of anger. When I was young. For stuff that happened to me. I had a lot of anger. I could say I probably still got some. Maybe one day I'll open up about that. <laughs> but you know, you have to forgive if you don't forgive it's gonna eat you up eat your life things that happened when I was five, six and then something that happened to me when I was fourteen and a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with something I did. But my body, my choice. And I'm 14. But, you know, 
things I ain't even told my kids. Maybe one day I'll open up. <clears throat> but not today. But anyhow, my beautiful people, peace, love, positivity, good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Kick that negativity out. Bring that positive in. Suck it in, baby. Suck it in. But <clears throat> maybe I'll have something halfway decent tomorrow for you. I don't know. Until maybe I'll have uh, them ribs on the sandwich tomorrow. Sounds good. But anyhow, peace, love, positivity, good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. Till next time. Bye.